Today I'm going to look at ProPilot Parking Assist. What that does, it's a program, an intelligent program that automatically will park your car. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, it would be really appreciated. And it would be fantastic if you'd go and check out subscribing to our channel. Thank you. Okay, now I'm back in the Leaf now. I'm just put the car into drive and we'll just drive along uh, looking for some car parks here. And I'm going to press the auto park button. Uh, so that brings up this menu on the screen now. So you see the auto park in the middle. Now you have to be patient and drive along and uh, the auto park feature will find a car park like it's done here. So it's now indicating the park where it thinks you can park and you can keep driving along and we'll find other spots. You can also determine where the spot is. And you'll see here you can either go forward into the park using the assistance program uh, or reverse in or for parallel park there's a parallel park feature so we're going to use the Ford and it indicates as a Ford on there and then I've got to make sure I've got my brake on to allow it to say start parking and I'm going to press the start parking button and then what I'm going to have to do is hold down the auto park feature and which I do and take my foot off the brake and now the steering wheel starts to engage and it's starting to park and if you look on the screen you can also see on the screen what the vehicle is doing and where it's aiming to go on the screen and um, so it's going forward into that green area and this is it's calculating its path and you can see the steering wheel still moves around now it's reversing um, so it shows you everything that the vehicle is going to be doing its planned route you do need to be pretty observant about what's going on around you and where other cars are and obstacles and it does have collision avoidance within it um, but on occasion um, it can get quite close so um, if you're in a tight spot with a lot of different obstacles around you do need to be pretty attentive especially with a, a curb um, where I've tried to park it sometimes it's been close to a curb and it gets very very tight so it's not a perfect system but it does does work as you can see and so if you look back here on the screen um, and it's indicating that it's parked. It puts the car puts on the electronic parking brake as well as setting the car into park at the end or the conclusion of the parking. system works pretty well um, obviously it's using all those different aspects including the, the braking it's controlling the forward and reverse motion and controlling the steering um, it works quite well although the system's a little slow and often you could probably park in a car park a lot quicker yourself but it's a really cool feature it's quite fun to use um, and if you've got the time definitely worth a try thanks for checking out my video today be fantastic if you'd give this a like it really will help out my videos and help get it help get a bit more momentum on the channel um, and as always be fantastic if you can subscribe to the channel too thanks have a great day guys bye